There's never been a better time to be an online learner. The constructivist literature points to the fact that active and dynamic learning, technology-based learning, online learning is best undertaken in an environment where you're learning how to use a system while you're in the system. In this professional learning environment, we're not gonna be talking to you or telling you about online learning, collaboration, communication, feed forward and reflection. We've created a learning environment where you actually get to engage in all those things. You will collaborate with others, you will provide feed forward, and you will have an opportunity to reflect on your experiences. You won't be alone and we'll have the opportunity to participate with a lot of collaborators. We've also pulled together a lot of resources that you can use as you develop your online learning experience. Upon successful completion of the facilitating online learning course, you will be able to do five key things. One of those things is build and sustain an online community. Secondly, you'll learn to support diverse learners online. Thirdly, You'll learn to facilitate collaborative and individual learning opportunities. Fourth, provide constructive feedback and assessment throughout the duration of the process. And fifth, you'll be able to learn how to manage the online course environment. Now, these five learning outcomes are going to be realized through four specific authentic learning activities or learning opportunities, as we like to refer to them. The first one is that you're going to have an opportunity to create a welcome or an introduction video, something along the lines of a very short TED Talks. It'll also give you the opportunity to start to facilitate your online discussion and enter into a conversation with other learners. The second authentic learning opportunity is the creation of a synchronous collaboration session where you're going to be engaging with people in a real-time session and lead them through um, a body of instruction. Uh, the third authentic learning opportunity is the creation and development and sharing of an asynchronous learning resource that will allow you to point to direct instruction, a tutorial, a uh, simulation or a variety of other resources that you will provide for your colleagues uh, that they can use at their time and at, at their convenience. The final thing that we're going to ask you to do is to pull together all your ideas and experiences into a final reflection. And that final reflection will either take the form of a three minute pay it forward video, a short 10 minute exit interview, or you'll have the opportunity to create a blog post or start to develop an article for publication. Now there's a couple key things that we want to highlight and that is there's going to be a, an aspect of communication, facilitation, and collaboration and feed forward in all of the modules. It's going to be important for you to remember that you're going to be participating with other people. And so therefore, you don't have to just do these things on your own, you're going to have the opportunity to watch two or three or more introduction videos before you create yours. You're gonna have the opportunity to participate in others uh, asynchronous and synchronous sessions before you create yours. You'll also have the opportunity to um, take a look at what some of your classmates have done with respect to their reflections. At a minimum, we're asking you to simply watch the module overview videos to help you understand the tone and the context of what you're looking to do as part of your learning experience. Secondly, the first meeting is a getting started meeting and you'll want to attend that meeting to really help you understand the dynamic and social learning you'll be involved in. But don't worry if you miss follow up meetings, we'll record those just in case and post them in the module itself. We are also asking you to experiment with getting started tools such as Zoom, Screencast-O-Matic, and other a variety of tools out there that you can use. But we want you to go well beyond this. Experiment, explore, and be creative with the tools that you find to build out your uh, online learning experience. And don't forget, collaborate with others as you share your ideas in the discussion threads. The more that you share, the more others will share with you. So you'll want to make this an interactive learning experience for yourself. And we will be here to work with you as coaches and mentors and learning facilitators as you go every step of the way. But again, we encourage you to look at the big picture of your learning goals and what you're looking to do and pace this as you need it to be.
Your reflection on your learning is your final product. So start thinking of this at the very beginning of the module and as you go along and begin building this and add pieces of this to your final reflection. So this can be a powerful, strong learning experience for you. And lastly, as part of the entire experience, we wish for you to explore, be creative, imaginative, experiment, test your ideas, and really gain some significant experience learning online. There's one more key vital bit of information that we uh, want you to recognize, and that is we use something called a continuous intake format for this professional learning environment. That means uh, when you start the course, you're going to very quickly see that there are people who might be two or three weeks ahead, some people who are just about to complete the course, and you're going to have the opportunity to work with people who are different stages at their learning journey. Now, this is a wonderful learning opportunity for you. The literature is very clear on this. Some of the best instructors are those people who have just learned something. So you're going to, going to be able to receive tips and guidance and input from people who have just learned how to do something. So when you're looking at um, getting some encouragement on your introduction video or on your synchronous session, you will be able to get feedback from people who have just recently done something, and this is going to be immensely valuable to you often and perhaps even more valuable than our feedback as instructors. You're not going to be isolated and working with a group of people you started with. You're going to have the opportunity to expand your horizons and get to meet a wide assortment of people at different stages of their development. And you're going to grow much more significantly, learn much deeper, and have a much more positive experience. We're excited to invite you into this amazing opportunity to learn how to facilitate online learning.